What's going on, Sag? It's your girl, D here. <clears throat> With 8 House Energy. Here to bring you another reading for May 2021. I hope all is well in the Sag community. I want to thank you guys who continue to show your love and support for the channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. You are so dope. Thank you, thank you. And um, I want to uh, welcome those who are new to the channel. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when I post. I post all kinds of readings. I post weekly for all 12 placements, okay? I do include a lot of uh, astrology in my readings um, because I feel like that gives you a more accurate uh, sit scenario and situation of what could be going on in your world. So um, I also don't, you know, I don't sugarcoat things. I tell you what I see. So, you know, I I, I, I want to uh, let people know that this might not be for you, this channel, and that's okay. All right. But um, if this particular reading is not for you, check your other placements, okay? You're not just sad. So we got cards coming out here. So we can see what's going on with you guys here for the month of May. Um, we got a lot of activity going on towards the end of the month here. We got uh, um, Gemini going into, well, Gemini is going to be in, well, today's the 7th. So I believe it was the 8th that Gemini went into, uh, Mercury went into Gemini. Uh, but on the 15th, we're going to go into the pre-shadow stages of Mercury retrograde because the 29th of May is when Mercury retrograde begins. For you guys, that's in your, um, where's Gemini at for you? Ew. Okay, so. Seventh house for Gemini. So Mercury retrograde, that's in the house of partnerships. Okay, so all of your partnerships with the Mercury retrograde energy. Um, this could be business. This could be love. This could be relationship, family relationship. It doesn't matter. But your relationships, a lot of them are going to come back to mind. There could be people uh, that you may no longer speak to or no longer work with um, or family members you may be having issues with. Uh, whatever it is that you, whoever it is you had an issue with that um, comes to mind the most and the most often during this Mercury retrograde period is the person that you need to either a uh you need to uh that person may reach out to you or you may reach out to them there may be an urge on either one of your sides uh b if you do communicate with this person it's because the universe wants you to in some way shape or form if it's nothing more than bringing closure if you don't communicate with this person it could be that you need to accept the fact that the situation is over bring closure to it let go of some feelings that are attached to it and move on all right um, this is a general read, so take what resonates, leave the rest. Some of it may resonate, none of it may resonate, okay? But just check your other placements as well. All right, so that's with Mercury Retrograde. Now, um, in your second house, you have Pluto in Retrograde, and in your third house, Saturn, at the end of the month, is going to be going into Retrograde. So just keep those things in mind, because as we go through the reading, some of that might show up. Overall energy for the read is the Queen of Swords, okay? This is Libra Energy. Uh, this is an energy of someone who, to me, this is um, masculine, feminine energy. This is feminine energy, meaning that this could be a man as well, because the feminine represents your emotions, your feelings, your uh, creative imagination, and your intuition. So somebody in their emotions and feelings, creative imagination, or intuition is looking at a situation for the facts, looking at it for what it is. There's no emotion involved in this particular assessment of the situation. Uh, it could be that you're uh, reviewing information. Uh, because the sword is up. So this is, okay, I'm reviewing information, de determining if I want to cut this short, or if I want to um, pay attention to it or not, if it's something that's relevant. It only wants the relevant facts. So your your inner self could be dealing with that right now, looking at the logic of the situation, deciding that maybe something is not for you. Um, but let's see. The cards we got, Major Arcana, Leo Energy, which is the Strength card. We have the Major Arcana of the Death card in reverse. Okay, that's Scorpionic energy. We got the Two of Cups, which is Cancerian energy. We have another major arcana, which is Pluto. Okay, Pluto's in retrograde in your second house. Okay, so we'll talk about that. Uh, we have the Two of Wands in reverse here, which is Aries. The middle of the read, we have the King, I'm sorry, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Seven of Wands, which is Leo. Seven of Swords in reverse, which is Aquarius. Knight of Cups, 
Piscean energy. And then at the bottom here is the outcome. We have the King of Wands in reverse Leo. So with Pluto in retrograde in your second house, your second house, um, for you it's your second house. But Pluto is in retrograde in Capricorn, okay? And um, that could have something to do with your, um, your career ambitions. Your career, as far as what you do for a living, um, it also could have to do with your reputation, how people see you, okay? Um, could also deal with uh, legalities because Capricorn deals with the authority. So it could be court proceedings. It could be police. It could be uh, your um, employer, employee type environment. Um, it could have to do with your professional achievements, your um, personal endeavors. Okay, but I feel like there's a change there going on, Okay. In the 10th house for you or what you're doing is you're reevaluating the situation here for some of you you're reevaluating if your employer uh, knows your value or your worth uh, some of you are reevaluating if um, you know what you do for a living is what you want to continue to do or do you want to do something different um, some of you are just looking at the relationships that you were in and you're taking a you're taking a step back and you're just looking at the facts of how people treated you OK, in reference to um, their attitude towards you, how they look at you, how they came at you. And um, you're summing that up in a way because you're looking at, OK, so this is how they must see me. This is how they must look at me because we're dealing with the seventh house energy energies with Mercury and retrograde. So I feel like um, you're standing your ground is what I'm getting. That's the first card out. That's Leo energy. This is strength. This is standing your ground, not allowing um, people to. Um, take advantage of you anymore I feel like for some of you you felt stuck in a connection um that you were in it could have been at a job you maybe you feel stuck at a job I feel like for some of you you feel like there's no room for growth you don't see it at all with the knight of pentacles in reverse and the two of wands in reverse you don't see uh room for growth but I feel like for some of you you may enjoy what you do or you like who you work with so you may not want to leave that could be what's going on, too. But I feel like you're not being paid what you're worth. I feel like you feel like you're stuck. Uh, and for some of you, like I said, you're there because you really like what you do. You enjoy what you're doing or you like your co-workers or your colleagues. Um, or your employer, your employees, depending on what's going on. Um, okay, so with this judgment energy here. Wait, where's Leo for you? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Your ninth house, your higher self, your intuition. Yeah, your intuition is telling you something here. This is what I was saying with the queen energy. Your intuition is telling you to look at things, look at the facts, look at the reality of the situation. I feel like for a lot of you, you're realizing that you're, you've not moved forward. You've not been able to uh, maybe you've applied for positions, um, but you're not able to move forward like you're at. a. I feel like you're at a salary cap or you've gone as far as you could possibly go in the position that you're in. Um, for some of you, you could be in the nursing industry or maybe you're considering going to nursing school or doc. you go into school for it to be a doctor or some type of healing work. You've thought about it, but you've not taken action on it. For some of you, maybe you're looking at your finances to try to figure out how you're going to swing school. Some of you, um, maybe you um, are deciding not to finish school. Maybe some of you started and, you, and for whatever reason you didn't finish. And you're considering that. You're considering why. Why you didn't finish. Um with this Pluto energy here, yeah, you're, I feel like for some of you, you do work in a, um, a field where you're helping others. You could be um, in the medical field. You could be, you could work in um, elderly care. For some of you is what I get here, elderly care, um, nursing homes, hospitals, rehab facilities is what I'm feeling here. Uh, some of you could work in the prison system. You could... Um, some of you could be work in the creative arts um, industry or arts environment. Some of you could be um, uh, Reiki healers. Uh, you could work in the occult, um, that type of thing. Some of you may be considering doing that. 
whatever it is that you want to do, I feel like it's something you, you want to do what you love. I feel like for some of you, you're not doing what you love. But if you're not doing what you love, you're afraid because maybe you're afraid you're, you're not going to have the money to start off. Some of you may want to, um, you may want to start a, a, a company or an organization of your own, be your own boss is what I'm feeling here for some of you. Um, uh, but I feel like this is this is all internal. This is all going on within you. So I feel like you you're um at, at odds with yourself about the situation. You're at odds about moving forward for whatever reason. Um you could be concerned about what other people may say uh in reference to your profession and what you want to do and how you want to do it. That could be a concern. Hmm. Let's get some clarity here. Actually, before we do that, let's take a look at these cards. So we got the Queen of Swords energy here. So you're looking at the facts. You're looking at the situation. Some of you could be um, filling out applications for another position. Some of you could be applying for licensure or licenses uh, for what you do. Some of you um, could be um, waiting to hear back uh, for something. Yeah, because we got the Nine of Swords in reverse energy here. So uh, this is about not being stressed out about a situation. Maybe you've ended a situation with the King of Cups energy. This is taking action to be compassionate, to be loving. Okay, so maybe this is what you do for a living. Like I said, for some of you, we have the Hermit energy. Some of you are considering relocating or moving away uh, with this Virgo energy here. But you're really starting to look at the situation for what it is and trying to decide what's best for you. So you're analyzing everything that's going on here. Very analytical, very analytical and strategic energy right here with um, the Queen of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Hermit energy. Like this is definitely somebody putting a plan together, someone strategizing, um, considering what they need to do. For some of you, though, it could be a financial situation here where you may not make the money that you want to make. Or doing what it is that you really want to do, you may not be able to make the money you may have to sacrifice or for some of you right now that's what you're dealing with right now i feel like there's definitely a money issue here because the center of the reading is the knight of pentacles in reverse and then we have the empress energy in reverse here so um it could be a financial concern here about maybe not being able to finance your uh, entrepreneurial journey for some of you that could be what's going on here but I feel like you're you're putting a plan in place so that you you don't have to worry about being uh, without money, you know, or you don't have to worry about what you need to do. You, like I feel like you're trying to put yourself in a position where you're able to do what you love and you don't have to worry about the bills, so you can really focus your studies on what it is that you want to do. I feel like again for a lot of you, you could be going into spiritual work. Okay, you could be going into divination services, any type of divination services. Or any type of divination work. But yeah, financial dependence is what's key for you. Is what I'm getting here. So let's take a look and see what's going on here. So let's clarify this major arcana of judgment. For Sagittarius. Judgment energy. Because again, Pluto is in your second house. So it's all about what's important to you. What do you feel is important? I feel like you're thinking about that with the seven of wands here because um, we got two sevens here. So I feel like you're trying to figure that out and you're going to reveal that with the moon energy in reverse. So this could be, um, okay, so yeah, we have the hi Hierophant energy in reverse, seven of wands. That tells me, yeah, so some of you could be teachers. Um, you could be, like I said, um, I think I said something about the daycare or children taking care of children. But some of you could be daycare teachers. Um, and you could be having issues with the authority figures. Because there's a power struggle. Pluto represents power struggles. So maybe you reveal with the moon energy what your concerns are with the Hierophant in reverse and the Seven of Wands. So it could be you against this organization. OK, because you may be revealing some things that they don't that are going on behind the scenes yeah, with the world energy. Or maybe you're revealing that you're going to go do your own thing or you want to. OK, with the King of Wands, we have the Three of Swords, King of Wands in reverse, Three of Swords. 
So you could be revealing to them that you're leaving. So if you are giving your notice, okay, you work in an environment where you care for people or you take care of people because I feel like you want more money. Clarify that Knight of Pentacles energy. Yeah, we have the Three of Wands in reverse. Yeah, see, you, you you can't go any further financially. I feel like you've reached your, your financial cap here for some of you. They can't pay you anymore. What's this Three of Cups? What's this Queen of Cups energy? Oh, hold on, guys. I dropped a card. What's the Queen of Wands? The Queen of Cups energy. Damn it, I keep dropping a card. Hold on. I gotta be careful how I shuffle. <laughs> Alright, clarify this three this uh Queen of Cups energy here for Sagittarius. Some of you, um, you like what you do, but it's the it's the administration, the authority. Um they're doing something illegal or they're not being fair. We have that clarified. We have the Queen of Cups clarified with the King of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like there is an issue with your boss for some of you. Or you're interested in running. You're interested in being a boss, being the boss. You want your own. I feel like you want your own. Or you're not getting the position that you applied for. Some of you want to apply for a position. Maybe you want to be the manager in opposed to... Some of you could, like, for example, say you work in a nursing um, environment and you have the nurse, um, the, the RN, like you have the nurse manager who all the nurses have to report to, like the RNs have to report to them. Then you have the LPNs. The LPNs report to the RN who is the head of each floor. And each head of the floor, which is an RN, um, they report to the nurse manager. So maybe some of you are interested in being, um, you, maybe you're interested in going from a nurse's aide to a LPN or from an LPN to an RN. Something like that because it's more money. But it could be office politics that are going on that are keeping you from doing that. But I feel like you feel stuck. What's this death energy in reverse? You feel like you can't move forward. Uh, we have the six of swords. Yeah, you're not able to move forward. You're not able to move on. What's this knight of cups energy here? Queen of wands in reverse. Um, I feel like you feel like maybe you've been being too nice to these people. Okay, or you feel like they take your kindness for weakness. I feel, yeah, I feel like you, you know, they take your kindness for weakness. I feel like they look at you as if, or maybe you feel like this is how they look at you. Maybe you feel as if they look at you as somebody who is not going to stand your ground, um, not going to ask for or demand what you feel is right. What's this two of wands in reverse? What's this two of wands in reverse here? You have the uh, Four of Wands energy here. Some of you are looking to move. You're looking to relocate. You could be looking to find um, work in a different area altogether. This is what I'm hearing. Some of you, you know, um, maybe you don't want to move, but you're finding that you may have to. We have the Two of Pentacles energy here. So this is you debating on if you want to move or relocate for some of you. Also, what I'm getting for some of you is um, you could be dealing with um, some of you could be in a relationship with someone who's dealing with someone else. If you are married or you're in a relationship with someone who's dealing with someone else, I feel like there's a third party here for some of you because we have the three of swords, the king of wands in reverse, the queen of wands in reverse. Yeah. So some of you, your person... Some of you, okay, so yeah, we have the two of pentacles here. So somebody's dealing with, somebody's dealing with other people, more than one person. Your person could be dealing with someone else. You may feel stuck in this situation here. With the two of wands in reverse, you know the situation is not going anywhere, but you two still live together. Um, especially with the knight of pentacles in reverse, the situation is, is just come to a complete stop. Um, you guys are not intimate anymore with the Three of Wands in reverse and the um, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, this is for some of you here. Some of you are dealing with someone else outside of your connection or your person is sleeping with someone else outside of your connection. But you know about the third party. Some of you, your person may have left you to go be with someone else. Your person could have left you to be with someone who has more money than you. It could be for some of you.
Yeah, some of you are debating on you don't want a divorce or your person doesn't want a divorce. Some of you, your person wants a divorce. They're telling you that they want to leave. They want to go be with someone else is what I'm feeling here. So that could be the case. They could have been seeing this person for a while is what I'm feeling. And so this could be what this Queen of Swords energy is, is about cutting something off. All right, so that's what I got for the first spread for you guys. So it's a combination of work and relationships. Some of you are going through a divorce, going through a separation. Um, there is definitely a third party situation here. Your person, I feel like for some of you, your person is leaving for someone else to be with someone else. Or you're leaving your person to be with someone else. But we're going to have it extended. The link's going to be in the box below. If this resonates, let me know. Please click the like button. If you want to share in the comments how it resonates, please feel free to do so. All right, let's get another spread here. And then we're going to go to the extended with the next spread. So we got the Four of Pentacles energy here. Capricorn energy. Someone being protective, guarding themselves. Someone could be saving their money. Someone could be being stingy. The challenge in the situation is the King of Swords. Your spirit guides, your guardian angels, your ancestors, your higher self want you to consider or take into consideration the four wands energy here. Where your head is at is the page of pentacles. And the outcome for you is the knight of cups. Overall energy for the spread, seven of cups energy. So this is Venus and Scorpio. Um, so this is, you know, looking at your options, trying to figure out if something is, is real or not. Uh, this could be about illusions. This could be about someone not being, um, someone not being honest. This could be about someone looking back at different situ situations, trying to figure out if, you know, like, this is like, okay, you told me this, but it was that. Then you told me this and that was that. But then you turned around and you said this and that was that. So somebody could just be recollecting about the, the conversation or the communication or the things that happened in this particular scenario where they may have been disillusioned. They may have misunderstood something. They may have tried something and it didn't work out. But um, there's some concern here. There could also be, you know, um, alcohol and drugs involved in this situation. Okay, let's take a look here. So we got the four pentacles energy here. Okay, which is Capricorn. We have the King of Swords, Aquarius. Four of Wands, which is Aries. Page of Pentacles, which is Capricorn. And then the Knight of Cups, which is um, Pisces energy here. Uh, okay, so Four of Pentacles. Someone could be hiding something. And maybe that's why you're like, what the hell is going on? Okay, the current situation. Someone's protecting something, hiding something. Um, someone's keeping a secret, someone is being closed off, someone could be saving money, okay? The challenge is, is the king of swords uh, energy. So the challenge is, is uh, the kings to me represent action, taking action um, to uh, get the truth or to offer the truth or to receive the truth. Uh, somebody could be saving up money to uh, pay a, a lawyer is what I'm getting here. Because the current situation is that someone's saving. The challenge is, is getting, um, maybe getting a lawyer or, um, you know, some type of court situation going on with the King of Swords. It could be, okay? Your spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, higher self want you to take a look at this energy here. The Four of Wands energy. This, to me, is talking about having peace of mind, uh, um, spiritual peace of mind, okay? Um... This could be uh, about somebody moving or relocating. Maybe somebody is trying to save up some money so that they can relocate. Okay. Um, they could be um, applying for something. Somebody could be saving up money so that they can apply for an apartment or saving for an apartment, saving for a place, a house, okay, a condo, whatever it is that you want. Uh, where your head is at, though, is is the money. You're focused on saving for the um you know, what you want. 
<sighs> the outcome is the Knight of Cups. Piscean energy. So this is you going on a journey. All right. This is a, a journey of, of doing something that you love. Or going after someone you love. So some of you could be coming out of a connection or going through a divorce here or a separation so that you can uh, move towards or move with somebody that you want to be with. Or, you know, if this is a job, some of you could be saving because you don't like where you work and you could be wanting to relocate out of the area with the four of wands. Yeah, you could be wanting to relocate out of the area. And so you're thinking about, um, you know, a job. Some of you could have applied for a position out of the area. Is what I'm feeling too. So we have the Seven of Cups, the Page of Swords in reverse, the Five of Cups in reverse, the Nine of Cups in reverse, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. There's a lot of cups here. A lot of cups here. Seven and five is 12. Plus nine is 21. 21 damn cups. So there's a cycle here with the number 21. Speaking of which, the very next card is Saturn cycle in reverse. Not being able to move forward. So, yeah, I feel like with this Seven of Cups here, this is someone trying to figure out what's going on in the situation because they're not speaking to someone or someone's not speaking to them. Or someone could be trying to figure out if someone said something. Someone could have been talking about someone. Somebody's secret could be revealed here because the Four of Pentacles, that I'm, I'm getting an energy of secret. And then with the Seven of Pentacles, uh, Seven of Cups is like, okay, who could have said something? Or did this person say something? Five of Cups here. This is somebody um, changing their mind about us or coming out of a depression. Somebody could have been upset or in, in grief. They're coming out of a grief, a grieving situation here. Uh, not being sad about something anymore. And we have the Nine of Cups here. This is something that somebody... Okay, so somebody's coming out of a, a stage of um, getting over uh, the fact that a relationship is over. Somebody could have been doing a lot of drinking. Okay, a lot of smoking, popping pills, whatever, to uh, cope, okay? Because, you know, we all go through uh, grieving, you know, because when a relationship ends, there is a form of grieving, okay? Just like if there's a death, there's a form of grieving, okay? So I feel like some of, some of somebody has just been um, in grieving, and they're, they're coming out of it, which is good. And if you're in this state where you're grieving the loss of a relative or a family member or a lover a relationship, um, I feel like you are going to come out of this. So I don't want you to, you know, it's okay to grieve, you know, but just be mindful of the time frame in which you're grieving or not even necessarily the time frame, but the fact that of what it is that you're doing to cope with grieving. Um, I feel like for some of you, you could be looking at a situation where it's like, you're trying to get as much, there's greed here, okay, with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Cups reverse. There's greed here. Especially with this Four of Pentacles. There's some greed here going on here. Um, there could be um, someone is just, um, somebody could be resentful about the fact that there's a divorce or a separation. And so now they could be trying to get as much money as they possibly can. There could be a child involved here with this uh, page of pentacles. This could be a child. Because this could be about child support or it could be about uh, per, uh, paternity. Somebody could be, yeah, somebody was holding back a secret. Somebody was keeping a secret. Somebody was keeping a secret. It was about, it was about, okay, it could have been about money. Somebody's keeping a secret about money. Okay, so here's the secret. The challenge is the truth. Speaking the truth. 
I feel like your spirit guides, your guardian angels, your ancestors want you to have peace of mind. Where your head is at is the page of pentacles, this child. And the outcome is apology. So yeah, somebody found out that somebody's child is not theirs. And so there's an apology that could be coming. Or somebody got somebody pregnant outside of their connection and an apology is coming. Yeah, there's a, there's a secret. There's a secret. Somebody's going to tell someone. Okay, so somebody is coming out of a connection. They're coming out of a relationship. They're coming out of a marriage. They're going towards someone else. But the thing is, is that they the person that they were with, they may have gotten that person pregnant. And so now this person has to explain this to the person that they're going to be with. It's like the reason I'm still dealing with this person or the reason I'm, you know, doing what I'm doing is because this person is pregnant. So maybe they're going to reveal this. The, they want to. They want to reveal it. This is why this is showing up in the challenge. They definitely want to reveal it. Um... Somebody, I feel like somebody is dipping off on somebody. Somebody's dipping off on somebody on the low. They're saving up their money. They're not telling them. They're, they're figuring out their plan here because they're keeping it to themselves. So somebody is over a situation um, with the five of cups in reverse. They're no longer mourning the loss or grief because there was two people here. Because every time I see the five of cups, if it's not, I feel like a lot of times it's about two people. OK, so they're mourning the loss of this connection and now they're moving on to this person because now the person who's behind them with the two of cups. So now they're over this three of cups. So they're leaving the situation. Um, and with the nine of cups in reverse and the ace of pentacles in reverse here. This is an energy of someone finding out that someone was lying to them to try to keep them around. Someone is um, someone could have been lying to keep someone around someone could have been doing something to because they didn't want someone to go be with someone else but this ace of pentacles in reverse to me that talks about a child i feel like that's child especially with this page of pentacles here the child is on your mind so it's like did this person keep you around you know because you were the more um, of the people that they slept with and then they got pregnant with you're the one who's more financially stable or this is a man who's trying to um, keep a woman around. So this is a man who has his cake and eat it too. He could be married to someone else, but he's trying to deal with someone else or wants to keep someone else around. Or this is a woman who's trying to get pregnant by a man who wants to leave. And she knows he wants to be with someone else. And she's trying to get him. This is, this is a lot. So we're going to go into the extended. We're going to go into the extended and get some clarity on this. Okay, um, I'm going to pull like three cards for each of these and get down into this to find out what's going on. But there's a secret here. And someone is afraid to reveal it or they the challenge is it's finding out the truth or someone taking action to tell the truth because kings represent action. So this is someone taking action to tell the truth about a situation. Okay, for some of you, it has to do with a marriage. And it could have to do with money as well. So we're going to go to the extended. If this resonated as is, feel free to click the like button. If you would like to leave a comment in reference to how it resonates, please let me know in the, in the comment section. I'm looking to uh, find out a little bit more about this in the extended. But let me, go, let me know in the uh, comments if this is something that resonates and what's going on. So without uh, further ado, I'm going to go ahead over to the extended. Feel free to join the links in the box below. If not, Sag, I will see you in the next reading. Peace out.